An Australian inquiry into child abuse has recommended that the Catholic Church lift its demand of celibacy from clergy and that priests be prosecuted for failing to report evidence of pedophilia heard in confessionals. Australia's longest-running Royal Commission, which is the country's highest form of inquiry, has been investigating how the Catholic Church and other institutions responded to sexual abuse of children in Australia over 90 years. Releasing a landmark 17-volume report, the Commission said the handling of child sex abuse in Australia had been a national tragedy. Issuing more than 400 recommend recommendations, the Commission specifically criticised forced celibacy in the Catholic Church, saying it had led to psychosexual dysfunction. The Commission heard the testimonies of more than 8,000 survivors of child sex abuse in religious institutions. It's been a long, hard slog. Uh, we started off with not being believed, not being, not people not wanting us to talk about it. The churches and charities and institutions putting pressure on everyone not to believe us that we were lying, that it wasn't true, and the Royal Commission has en enabled all of us to to step up and say yes. Now people believe us; it is true. They're understanding the abuse. Uh, bringing the Royal Commission about and um, really basically trying to change our society to be more aware of the child's voice, I suppose. And um, so it, it's, a, it's a celebration and, and it's full of determination and hope as well that um, the recommendations will be passed and become law and our children of tomorrow will be safer because of it. I want to thank the Royal Commissioners for their work. Uh, it's been very tough, uh, often harrowing work. Uh, but above all, I want to thank and uh, honour the courage of the, uh, the survivors and their families who've told often for the first time the dreadful stories of abuse that they received from people who actually owed them love and protection.